blessings before this wonderful message from my father in the lord late archbishop bensi idaosa i like to share information about anointedtube.com with you the number one christian video sharing website today anointedtube.com this is a powerful site believed to be the top most Christian video sharing website in the world today. It is ranked as one of the best video sharing website according to available data. It hosts videos of preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from all around the world. You can as well share our video on all social media platforms. The World Database of Christian Preachers, positively touching and changing lives around the world. It is a great Christian video sharing website. The Lord bless you. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. shall be in your keeping. One. Two of every species from the beginning of time. God in a new way. Come celebrate life in a new style. Worship God in spirit at Church of God Mission International Incorporated this Sunday at 8 a.m. Oh, enjoy His presence in a new way. On Wednesday at 5 p.m., hear from Him as you study the scripture. And on Friday, partake of His grace in the miracle service at 5 p.m. 
Church of God Mission International Incorporated, number one faith way of Upper Adesuwa Road, GROA Benin City. Host, Bishop John Yenose. Chief Host, Bishop Margaret Benson Garusa. Presiding Bishop, Church of God Mission International Incorporated. An encounter with God will change your life forever. Yahweh. <laughs> I am blessed. And I know you are blessed. I went to a crusade in a city in Nigeria. When I got to this crusade, the whole stadium was packed full. As a matter of fact, the press reported that crusade is unprecedented in history. Uh, but, but, Nothing like that before. Nigeria. Human beings can endure hunger. But to our say, but they have no grace to endure suffering and sickness. Whether you are poor or rich, you want to be well. Whether you are short or tall, you want to be well. In the crusade we went to, the road were jammed with traffic. A woman brought her crippled husband to be prayed for. First night she could not go inside. Second night she could not go inside. The third night she decided to live on one hour before the time that was scheduled. She didn't know that people slept the stadium overnight. Yeah, And she didn't get anywhere to carry her husband that was crippled. She's carrying at the back inside. Lisusu muntute So she begged two young men. To help her look for empty drum. The drum of oil. They roll it near the stadium. It was as high as one of those big uh, loudspeakers. She 
got carried it near the wall of the stadium. She said to the husband, Now that every door is closed, I'm going to put you on top of this drum, and I will climb up. And put you with my back to the wall of the fence to the stadium. I will push you inside. Then I will go and beg the police to allow me inside. She said I will tell the police to see me carrying you on top of this thing. So she went and carried that empty drum. She carried it near the wall of the fence. She carried her husband at the back and leaned him to the top of that drum. Then she climbed the top of the drum and carried her husband at the back and carried him on the wall of the fence of the stadium. Then the husband sat on top of the wall. She pushed the man inside the stadium. When she pushed him in, she jumped down. That night was the third night. When she pushed her husband, instead of the husband to fall and break his remaining little bones, this woman was acting her fate. When the man was going to fall, when the woman pushed, as he jumped and fell, he saw himself standing. He saw himself standing. He said, My wife. Something has happened to me. But the wife has left the spot. She pushed him. I went to the police. I said, police, I want to go inside. Police said the door is closed and there is no more room in the stadium. She said, I was the one who pushed my husband to the fence. So the police began to make way for her. Finally, she managed and got inside. When the people who knew the man in the city saw him standing in the stadium, they began to run with him round the field. Praising God for the miracle. Everywhere they were shouting. He can walk. He can walk. He can walk. The wife came to the field. To see where she pushed her husband down. The man was not there. She said, where's my husband? I pushed him from the fence. So two men said, there was a man that jumped down here. He's running around the whole field. Then she joined the crowd to be looking for her husband. Almost one hour before. God saw my helpless estate. Power came on me. And I saw myself standing. The man began to cry. The woman began to cry. The power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth was manifested. I saw with my two eyes. In all our crusades all over the world, at least in 81 countries, everywhere we preach, and pray for the sick. 
God honors his words. A young lady was brought to my crusade three years ago in Port Harcourt. She had leprosy for 11 years. She couldn't walk with her feet. It was as high as inches from the ground. For 11 years she couldn't walk. They brought her to the field. While the message was going on, the power of God touched her where she was. She said, Suddenly, fire began to burn at my feet. And I saw myself able to stand. She walked to the platform. And she had been walking since that time. Let us see we are clean. And Jesus healed her. I went to Uganda a few years ago. I asked them to bring the deaf for prayer. They brought a man that died on the way to the crusade ground from the hospital. According to the story of these people, the man has been in Kampala Hospital for 18 years. This day, they decided to use ambulance to bring him. They put him down and the sun was about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And I was preaching. When I asked them to bring the deaf, two men carried this skeleton man to the place. And my wife asked, what is that? They said about four hours ago he died on the way to the crusade. So, so Mrs. Idaosa said, he asked for the deaf and not the dead. The crowd said, if God can open deaf ears, as we have seen, he can also raise the dead. I ignored him and began to preach. When it was time for the prayer of faith like we have seen here in three nights, I said, put your hand in where you have your problem. If you brought any deaf person, put your hand in the person's ears. If you came with any blind man, put your hand in the blind man's eyes. So these two men put their hands on the dead skeleton. I was looking at them. Then I prayed the prayer of faith. When the prayer was going on, I said, Jesus, in the crowd, there are deaf. Dumb, dumb, blind, lame, by mistake, Par hasard, I said there are dead people. I didn't want to say that, but I said, God, a cup of water for a thirsty man is a miracle. A bicycle for a man that is trained is a miracle. A motorcycle as a gift to a man with a bicycle is a miracle. So you are pesi muntoa zali na kina velo, o pesi velo motor is a miracle. The key of a car for somebody who has motorcycle is a miracle. Muntoa zali na moto, so you are pesi fungule ya 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 motocar is a miracle. No miracle is too small. Miracle ata mokote is a miracle na miso na zambi. And no miracle is too big. Miracle ata mokote likipe munene. But by mistake, I said God. 
Rest the dead tonight. My interpreter interpreted, carry your dead man up. So these two men carried him and stood him dead. If you see him, you will be afraid you will like to run away. Then I say, speak to your situation now that you are healed. And these two men told the skeleton, they say, you are well now, begin to speak. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Nazareth. He's a miracle walking God. Yeah, He's a miracle walking God. miracle. He can heal the sick. He can raise the dead. He can open blind eyes. We have seen miracles every night here. All the night evangelist Richard preached. Two of us are colleagues in the ministry. We didn't come to compete. We came to complement the work of God. We are going to see miracles tonight to be added to what God did before. We went to a Python for a crusade. He managed to rise up. 
He started to act his faith. He forgot that his legs were dead. He forgot that his hands were dead. That's what Abraham did after he married for many years, no child. The Bible says he considered not the deadliness of his body nor the womb of Sarah. When you need a miracle, you must be desperate. If you need a miracle, you must be deaf to what the world says. You must be deaf to what religion say. And if you want a miracle, you must wake up. God wants everyone to wake up from sleep. Do you need a miracle? It may be the miracle of your body. It may be the miracle of your eyes. It may be the miracle of your hand. But do you want a miracle today? God is going to single you out. In the midst of the crowd, you can be different. After he stood up, Jesus said, that thing that I've been carrying you, carry it and go home. That thing that I've been carrying you, carry it and go. Go where? Go to your own house. Jesus doesn't raise us to send us to the bush or to the tree or to the tiger or to the lion. He knows where to send us. Yes, sir. Where was Jesus sending him? Yes, sir. Jesus was sending him to where people said he cannot come back. Yes, sir. Jesus says, stand up. Yes, or be telema. Carry your bed. Come to bed tonight. Go to your own house. Can I not look at your mother? Let those who knew you at the bull side know that you are well. Tikete, ba onyo se ba yebi yo, ba so so lete yo zeli malamu. The hand and leg that died for thirty-eight years. Si manayo koti kala mbola tu misa tu na mambe na mbeto. The hand and bed that died for thirty-eight years. Si manayo kola na kati na mbeto tu misa tu na mambe. That long-suffering bed. That cooperative sickness bed. The bed that carried the man for 38 years. Jesus said, take it up. Show the whole world. Now you are now carrying what has been carrying you. You are carrying it. Carry it up. Show the whole world. Those of you at the back. Those of you at the edge of the stadium. Those of you at the end that side. There is a miracle everywhere. Remember these three things. God came to single you out. God came to raise you up. And God wants you to go home to show yourself well. In body, in soul, and in spirit. Zambeli ngi yozonga landak. Omira kisa yomoko. Ndengo siliko bika. Kati na nzoto. Kati na bumwe. Pe kati na mulimu na yo. I want to pray for all who are tired of Satan and his work. Nani ngiko bandela. Pwana bawo nyose ba siliko lemba. Na kati na misale ya satana. There is power on me right now. There's healing power right now. There's miracle in my mouth right now. I want to do two things quickly. I want to change your passport and visa to hell with passport and visa to heaven. Amen. I want to give you boarding pass to the plane of heaven. I want to give you the boarding pass for first class seat on the plane that is carrying passengers to heaven. How many of you want your boarding pass? 
Jesus is a burden pass. Yes, was a Ricardo d'embarquement. He is a burden pass to heaven. Yes, was a Ricardo d'embarquement pour la canne Lola. Do you want him in your life? Ole ngia kati ya bumo ina yo. Raise your hands up. Toma na boku na yo. I say after me. Loba bo isi manangai. My God and my Father. Tata nangai penko na nangai. Behold my hands. Tala ma boku na nangai. I surrender. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. I want to stand up inside. And I want to stand up outside. Now, Lord, I receive Jesus to my life. I refuse the devil and his poverty and sickness. From today, I belong to Jesus. Father, I am saved. I'm born again. Confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord of my life. Yes, I believe in my heart. Now he rose from the dead for my sake. Yes, Now Lord. Take my sins and my diseases. I want to be made whole tonight. I believe I am saved now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Merci, Nkola Yesu Christo. Hallelujah! 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 Amen! Hallelujah! Amen! Amen! 
Amen. At the back there, let me hear amen at the back all round. Bino bas ba zeli kure na suka na lingi na yoka amen na bino bino bas kure na suka bolo ba amen. Jesus Christ. If you will now follow Jesus all the days of your life, all of you at this stage will say. Amen. So keep on the Mikola and Yasu Katina Bumo and Yosemu Pekat and Mikola and Bino, Bino Basso, Katina Stad, our Bino Basso Bonoba. Amen. Thank God for you. Merci, Nancola Ponabino. Wherever you are at this field, Bissika Yosho, the Katina Stad, Oyo, there's a miracle near you. Miracle is a little pen in a yo. If the one here believes, there's a miracle here. Miracle is there. If the ones there believe, there's a miracle there. Miracle is there. If the ones on the hill top there believe, so kikula ni kula zali kundi ma. There's a miracle there. Miracle is there. If those on the tall pole believe, ba wapi zali kula na turu kula soko bandi. There's a miracle on the pole. Miracle is there. One thing I know, where you cannot move to help yourself. Jesus we move to meet you there. Nandi mi te sika yo zali po soko ko ki poda ku misali sate. Yesu zali ko ya po sali sa yo. Be ready for your miracle. O zali pe 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 na ku ya miracle na yo. Before. But there's another miracle you need. Kasi miracle mu suze zali o zali na ngo bon senga. Your pocket is not as good as I want it to be. Nandi mi te li benga na yo e zali malamu de boya e bota
Bamba bengi bi solelo e. Matona eli kamba ya ye. Matona eli kamba ya ye. Boya bamba bengi bi solelo e. Boya e. Boto sangana bamba bengi bi so. Yesu a jani mokozi la bakozi lelo na sengi masia. Mo to yembela yawe. Mo to yembela yawe. Oh Yesu a sili si nyongo na ganyoso. Yesu a jani mokozi na bakozi lelo na sengi masia. Badela mo yata kumi sa yawe. Zambe mone ne zambe waboni asala kilo la asali yetu masiye masiye yetu masiye masiye oh hallelujah na yesu togo yamba na yawe yana yesu togo yamba na yawe oh hallelujah na yesu togo yamba na yawe yo. Begin to get ready when I command you to come and lay hand on people here. I want four people to carry four people to carry this woman here. Four people carry her here. Carry that woman. 
I believe this message is blessing you. Please visit and share videos on anointedtube.com, the world database of Christian preachers, to help us reach 100 million people. The message continues after this video about anointed tube. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Get ready for your miracle there. God is everywhere where you are. God is there. Your miracle is there. Your healing is there. Your deliverance is there. Everywhere where you are. God is there. There is healing here tonight. I can see healing there. Somebody who cannot walk well there. You can get up. And begin to come. The power of God is present everywhere to heal. What you couldn't do before. God ask you to begin to do it. You have helpless cases. Like that woman in a cabin. Bring her here. I thank God for you. You are going to go home. There is healing everywhere. Everywhere. The power of God is present to heal. God is healing you there. Get up in Jesus' name. Come on, get up. Malembe, 
Test. Could she walk? I could take a time with her. She's walking now. Did you see her? Woman in there, I could tumble. All right. I come with a coming. We want her to walk away. Don't go to come when I hear Penny Susu. Come. Lady? Mama, your cup of sale. Are you the sister? Are you the sister? Are you the sister? Are you we thank God for her healing. She's going to go home perfectly healed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There. Take her from me. Huh? Good. Oh. What is that boy, Pastor Coca? Bo, this man, fellow. Pastor Coca, you know who you Who know this fellow? Yeah. Who know this fellow? Nana, you know who you Nana, you know who you are. Listen, miracles are still happening everywhere. Don't give up your own. But I don't want to be fucking miracles. Your head, your head, your head, your head. Ex, come and tell us. Mr. Katina, you know who you are. How did you come here? Who carries my hair? Who carries this low here? She's here. He is my child. How many years has he been Fifteen years. Fifteen years. 
When was the last time he walked? I'm telling you, since September, but Nicola has not got to tell him about it. I'm going to go now. He has not got to tell him about it. He can't stand up since 15 years. For 15 years, he cannot stand up. He was, he was, he was always laying. Down. 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 Now he can't stand up, he can't work. Now he, st now he stand as he can walk. Okay, walk. Move. Move that side. Move. 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 Examine your head, your chest, your waist, your stomach. This woman was carried here. Mama, what was wrong with her? My heart, I had a heart attack. For how many years? Mbuna boni. Five, during five months, I can't stand up like this. For five months, she couldn't stand up. But now she's healed. We thank you, Lord, for giving her strength and making her stand again. Amen. Amen. Now, what that's Move. She was carried here for five months. She's not got up. But my mother is poor. Now, Koya, our Santa Mita has only got time for that. Come on, let's move on. What happened to this one? El 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 Koni ne sali me pa na yo. Aladi la pa so yo na kingo mbula misato azina karambelinga azina lose. During three years, I had that neck hack. This, this, this morning, I went for the baptism in water. Now I can't speak well and I feel wet in my neck. After three years. After three years of neck hack. Let's hack. give Jesus a big hand for that. Go. Who is? Nani mususukuna? Bring them here. Those who are. Who is this? Who is your now? This one. Tell me, boy. Who is your now? This one. No, she. Was she looking bigger? This one had a stroke. Amen. You had stroke. Was I looking at the table? You mbula boni. We thank you, Lord, for healing this man. Merci encore pour la copie cette tata oyo. Complete what you have begun. Encore le copie cette oyo sur le copain de la maison de la yeh. Finish it. Ti si li sa yango. In Jesus name. Na koma na yeso. Amen. 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 Bring only those who have been healed. Be be ya kaka kana ba wa sur le copie qui sama. As you examine your head. Tala mutu na yo. Your chest. Tala tolo na yo. Your stomach. Tala stomach na yo. Your waist. Tala tolo na yo. We command that you be well. To the look of Pamela and go for the Malam. We command that you be well. To the look of Pamela and go for the Malam. What is wrong with this one? Hello, Queen and Mama Oyo. Nana Yena Ye. Who brought this one? Nana Yena Ye Awa. Who brought this one? Nana Yena Mama Oyo Awa. Open your eyes. Fungula Mishina Yo. Stand up. Tell a man of common eyes. Stand up. Tell a man of common eyes. Stand up. Tell a man of common eyes. Jump up. Shh. Tell a paper, sir. Look at me. Jump up. Shall I boy? One, and two, and three, and four. No. Then run. Ale, kima mangu. Kima mangu. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Raise your hands up. Raise your hands up. Tomo, tomo na wokona yo. Tomo na wokona yo. Raise your hands up. Tomo na wokona yo. Raise your hands up. Tomo na wokona yo. Close your eyes. Kanga mi suna yo. Father, in the name of Jesus. Tata na kama na Yesu. We thank you. To the look of peace, we mercy. That these ones are going home tonight. With your power. Na nguena yo. Any disease remaining. Ah, we are going to be able to take care of that bango. Now. Come and tell us. Let that sick person change their mind. Take it, bango. We are going to be able to take care of that bango. Receive their healing. Bango, we are going to be able to take care of that bango. Receive their miracle. Bango, miracle, bango. In their body. 
Lordi. La carta de Zosu na bango. Ya so. Na bango. Ya spe. La carta de Mulimu na bango. Let no man or woman. Tikete wewe mwasi pena mobile msili ko. Bawa katikani na pasi. Na kati ya Zair. Why we are here? Tangu bisi tuzali awa. Tomorrow morning. Na bila to. Tomorrow night. Na bila pokwa. In their bed. Na kati na mbetu na bango lelo. In their sleeping time. Na kati na ndoto na bango. Let your resurrection. Kwa tiketi ya rubiko na yo. Let your healing power. Tiketi ya nguvu na rubiko. Touch their bodies. Esi mabu nzoto na bango. In Jesus name. Na kama na Yesu. We command death. Na liko bama na papa bango na rubiko. Nakati na tano. Nakati na mokongo. Nakati na mna mokongo. That neck you couldn't use before. Oyo kingo koko 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 ningi teli suchu te. Trouble. Oyo mo 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 kingo. Now. Le no si ko. Si ko yo. Now. Si ko yo. Take your healing neck. Longo ekta kama longo le ma 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 maladi ya kingo. Neck be healed. Yo kingo be kisama. All of you with neck. Bawa nyos pata la maladi ya kingo wa. Set you free. Nasi kwa 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 suku la suku la bino. Nasi kuli bina la maladi la bino ya kingo. Be free. Bape tu la ma. From your west. Kama ndani la pasi la bino na tolo. Take your healing. Bosho la bino na bino. Bend your west. Longo la pasi. Be healed. Bino. This time. Na tati pi. This minute. Na kati la minuto yo. Bend hole. Bosho la bino na bino. The cripple. Baba ba 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 kata tano. Begin to rise and walk. Baba ndo kote la ba kota mada. And come here. Baba awa. In the name of Jesus. Na koma la. Raise your two hands everywhere. Baka ba 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 so. In the name of Jesus. Na koma la Yesu. Let your blessings, Lord. Take out the mabondo that are in Corona Bino. Oh. Eh, ekwa in Corona Bino. So this one that I be healed. Na wa wasi kubiri kisema. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What has happened to this woman? Hello, can you hear me, Papa Mama Oyo? Namo ni moto bimeli kama kasi si amakolo muaite. Na bimeli kasi nanga depuis septembre quatre que cela. Namo la moto moto. Julia. Namo la osamba la nairobi seni. Miko sawa zonga kana pasi na ndaku. Le na ligi na big sam na ligi na zonga moto wenye zala malili loka batnyo se zala ka. Namo ni kama tato osamba la namo ni kama moto bimeli kama makolo na moto managa namo ni kama moto bimeli penda. Nakomo ni sama kona kanzo ipeteti makona hapa na sama kolongulu na vani na tebo na Monica moto kuzo continue tujuu na sama Monica makasi na bisi seni na Monica sio big singa libela na Monica malili na moto mana ngai yangu na kote mani seni. This lady has a stomach ache. When the pastor pray, he feel he feel a very big fire through her, and now she feel that she is completely healed in the name of Jesus. Et coulait mal l'arme, l'arme coulait sans arrêt. I heard my my eyes were very sick. But now, oui, si comme l'arme est caouki. Now now I can see well and I am healed in the name of Jesus. Can you see that person on the camera? Oko kiko talo is there looking at the camera? What color is that person? Mutu mutu na zeli mutu yalo poselini. Azai mundele. She is a white man. A white man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. More people are coming. All who have been here begin to come. But you mean you are going to come back? Some of you are going to come back. Raise your hand. Let us thank God. Tomba na mabuka leto pesa mercy na kolo. Lift your hand. Let's thank God. Tomba na mabuka leto pesa mercy na kolo. Close your eyes. Baka ngavi shi na bi leto pesa mabuka. Let's thank God. Tomba na mabuka leto pesa mercy na kolo. Father, in the name of Jesus. Tata na koma na Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Na koma na Yesu. Deaf, you will hear it. In Jesus name of Nazareth. Na koma la Yesu ya Nazareth. We thank you for your miracle. Tuzali kupesha mercy kwa na miracle na yo. In the name of Jesus. Na koma na Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Na koma na Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Na koma na Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Na koma na Yesu. We come against all power. Tuzali kutele me langu ya nyonso. Of the devil. Oh ya satana. In your life. Ikate mbomo ina yo. From your head. Longwa na mtu na yo. Kino na makole na yo. We command your healing. Tozali kote na lobi kwa na yo. In the name of Jesus. Na kama na Yesu. We exercise authority. Tozali kosa ya bokonde. Over every demon. Me likole na ma mimi ni osambindo. Tani kata. Likole na bibundi ni osasadana. Kati na libale na yo. Business. Kati na musale na yo. In your office. Kati na mu na isika na yako sale laka. In the name of Jesus. Na kama na Yesu. We command your healing. Tozali kote na lobi kwa na yo. None of your head. Me 
healing your neck. It's all of your feet. All of your feet. God is healing your neck. 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 All of you with back pain. Come celebrate God in a new way. Come celebrate life in a new style. Worship God in spirit. At Church of God Mission International Incorporated. This Sunday at 8 a.m. Oh, enjoy His presence in a new way. On Wednesday at 5 p.m., hear from Him as you study the scripture. And on Friday, partake of His grace in the miracle service at 8 p.m. Church of God Mission International Incorporated. Number one faith way of Upper Adesuwaru GRA Benin City. Host. Bishop John Dienose, Chief Host, Bishop Margaret Benson Idarusa, Presiding Bishop, Church of God Mission International Incorporated. And you can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Idausa is my father. My first encounter with uh, Archbishop Idausa, he was doing a big crusade uh, in the center of Accra, which is called Circle. He said, if your faith say yes, God cannot say no. Idausa is a man that believe with God, all things are possible. He had an unwavering faith. He had an unshaking faith. He had an unbreaking faith. He had faith in God. He saw God as he's talking to a faithful father. He saw God like his son will see a father who he trusts that is faithful. 
whatever I ask my daddy to do, he will do it. That was a dowser's level of faith, beyond mass uh, explanation. He had faith. Spiritual, a person, yet he was so human in nature. A man who reached out to everyone, the high and the low in society. A man who rubbed shoulders with presidents and the highest of dignitaries you can think of in society. I feel very blessed because the Lord has called me to preach the word of God in Africa and particularly in Nigeria. Um, I've been here with my husband 40 years now. It's a blessing, and it's particularly been a blessing to work with Papa Idahosa and Mama Idahosa. When you talk about legacy, I remember traveling with Archbishop Idahosa to Kaduna for the consecration of Bishop Oyedepo. I think it's Faith Liberation Chapel. I remember it as if it is today. And the Archbishop said, we are going. And when we got to Benin Airport, uh, Okada, uh, that's chief, Igbenidion had given him an aircraft. So we flew from Benin City Airport to Kaduna. And I carried, and it was there he told, in the preach, he said, this is my son. At the point, at that time, I didn't really know Bishop Edipo. This must have been early in the 80s or something. And then many, a couple of weeks after, Bishop Edipo came to Church of God Mission Sunday evening service. And I remember the first message he preached it was on the prodigal son. The man brought me out from the dungeon. Papa Idahosa was, he was a man full of energy and vision. Uh, he, he, he was always getting, moving on from one project to another. And often when he started a new project, we whites, we Oibos would say, why is he doing that? We couldn't see the vision at all. We thought, hmm, this is very funny. But then, sometime later, we would realize, oh yes, okay, I see why he's done that now. And I was a Muslim that I gave my life to Christ. In Ghana, there was this kind of freedom of worship. There were a lot of Muslims. And among those people that were the grace of God, I gave my life to Christ. And I wanted to go to Bible school when I felt the call of God upon my life. And unfortunately for me, at that particular time, with the Assemblies of God Ghana, there was no space for women to go to Bible school. So my pastor called me and said, he wants me to go to Nigeria and meet with Indahosa because there is a room in that particular ministry for women. And I traveled to Nigeria by the grace of God. On getting there, I met with the Archbishop, my first time of meeting the Archbishop in Dahosa of Church of God Mission International. What an awesome privilege it was to see this man of faith and boldness. I will never forget the Unicha Crusade. At that time, the head of state in Nigeria had passed the law that nobody should do open air crusades. And Archbishop said he went to pray and said, God, God, what they are saying, and God asked him, what do you want? He said, I want to do crusade. God said, go ahead and do your crusade. So he sent us, I was part of the uh, advanced team, to go and paste posters all over Odicha. And we went to put posters all over Odicha. And the first day of the crusade, a truckload of soldiers came. The man of faith, the man of prayer, the man of courage, the man of peace. And Archbishop mounted the platform. And, and the soldiers came with their guns. When Archbishop started preaching, they all put their guns down. When he made the altar call, they all raised their hands to receive Jesus as Lord and personal Savior. And we stood there and the whole crusade was an eye-opener for us. And right there, I decided I needed to go and know more from this man. Fortunately, he was offering scholarship for people who want to attend Bible school in Benin, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute. And so that particular year, I uh, 
requested, I wrote, and fortunately, I was invited to come. So uh, we went to Nigeria to begin. Uh, my class, actually I went there in 79. My class started in 1980. And uh, we went through the Bible training and it was powerful. We were all charged up. He started uh, the Word of Faith schools. He started the Christian Hospital, Faith Mediplex. He started Benson Niederhose University, all those. And well, he's, he's a man we can't, we can't forget. He was a great example to us. And I thank God. It's particularly good for us, whites, British, because in Britain, uh, people are rather skeptical these days. You'll not find many people who are really born again Christians. Um, people of faith are few in Britain, but if we can come here and our faith can be uh, increased, can be inspired, particularly by the things that Papa did, we are blessed. Let me share this. And I think for those who were around in Church of God Mission at that time, we traveled to Washington for Jesus. John Geminis went to Baltimore, flew to New York, and then flew to Lagos on Nigeria with 11 hours. And then we took Okada from Okada Air from Lagos to Benin City. It was bad weather. Brother, it was one turbulence I, I told God, as long as I'm alive, never let me face anything like this again in my travel. I'm sure Dausa and the wife Margaret were in the first class, which is only divided by a curtain because it's a 90 seater plane. And we took off from Lagos to Benin. It was bad weather, raining cats and dogs. We rented a storm. There were Filipino pilots. And then they said that he has lost contact. The pilot said, listen, he has lost contact with Lagos. And so he doesn't know where he is. That is ridiculous. You are supposed to be taking us to Benin. So if you, the pilot, has lost contact and you don't know where you are and it's raining cats and dogs, what do you want us to do? And when I looked through the wood, brother, I was sitting at the edge of my seat like this. I was shaking in my boots. I'd never been scared like that. I thought I was, I, it, it was a life and death situation. The plane would lose, dive, turn left, turn right. When I looked through the curtain, I was looking at the reaction of the Abishoy Dausa. who said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then one time he stood up in the aircraft. He lifted his hand. I will never forget. He said, God, this is what he said. God, you called me and you didn't say I would die in a plane crash. My mission is not finished. My assignment is not over. We call the enemy to order and command the devil to back up. Now you pilot, you better find out where you are and take us to our destination in the name of Jesus. And he sat down. Five minutes time, the pilot said, he has made contact with Port Harcourt. Listen to this. We are supposed to be doing 30 minutes from Lagos to Benin. And the pilot, we, we landed in Port Harcourt. So we were on the, we have lost our way. We would have ended up in the sea. I will never forget. We landed in Lagos. It was still raining. Now this is where the testimony is. Mama, I was there. You can ask her. I told Papa, can I please go for bus? Because I was afraid. Can we get a bus so we go to Benin? He said, no. James, you don't travel like I do. I must conquer the devil today in the air. I said, what is this? <laughs> I was scared. I said, Papa, you want us to die? He said, James, if I don't conquer the devil, I will not be able to travel by air. Okada gave us his gold-plated aircraft. Chief Benedion, he called him. The plane rolled out from the hangar, and we went by air to Benin. And that Sunday evening, he made me go to church and give a testimony. He said, Ghana boy. He calls me Ghana boy. I came and said, give them your testimony. You coward. <laughs> Another powerful miracle was when the witches in the whole world decided to come and have a meeting in Benin City. And Archbishop said, not when he's here. There won't be any such meeting. 
the chief priest then was summoned. His name, Chief Eboho, because he was a representative of the witches then. And he said, the meeting, nobody, not even God could stop the witches from meeting. Then daddy said, or papa said, yes, God will not waste his time to stop you because I'm here to stop you. God has put me here to stop you. And guess what? That meeting never took place in Benin City. When you are with him one on one, you will feel an aura that defies definition. You know, it's as if you are in the presence of God, of a deity, of something that is beyond where you are. You know, uh, he never celebrated mediocrity. He never took no for an answer. He dared to go where nobody wants to go or everybody feared to go. He was a man that believed in venturing where others fear to venture. He was a trailblazer. I remember those days, for example, this television ministry that's becoming anything today. It does have started it in 1974, 75. I'm honored to have been one of his sons. And uh, by the grace of God, I think that um, that sign wonder anointing and his boldness. I was, I did a meeting for Dr. Maurice Serrillo in 2010. And just before I spoke in his world conference, they said, uh, oh, miracles don't happen in America because they have a lot of doctors. It happens in the third world. Well, when I took the microphone, I just shared my testimony. 23 cripples gave me their sticks and began to walk. Um, that kind of boldness to decree and declare, I took it from the late Archbishop. I believe in the transference of spirits. And I believe strongly, like God told Moses, I will take up the spirit that is upon you and I will put it upon the 70. I'm one of the people who took of that spirit of signs and wonders from the Archbishop. Making a movie of the Archbishop will really, really help the next generation. Because the young preachers and the young ministers that are coming up have no clue of who he was. It, I mean, he will still be preaching and cripples will start walking. Um, that was an awesome man of faith. I remember whilst we were in school, he went to visit and it was shown on TV. Um, he went to visit Kenneth Copeland. And when he got there, they, he was supposed to have gone the previous day, but he arrived late. So they announced, when they announced that the Archbishop in Dahosa has arrived, six cripples got out of their wheelchairs. That is how anointed uh, Papa was. We must keep his legacy alive. Idahosa is dead to some people, but to us, to me, Idahosa lives. Hello, I am Bishop Margaret Benson Idahosa, the wife of the late Archbishop Benson Idahosa that did wonders while he was on earth here. Early in the morning when I rise, I will lift up my eyes. Now let me let you know how I got to meet him. You know, in those early years, he used to ride his bicycle with some trucks going from street to street and one of it was my street. And every time he comes, we call him pastor. Pastor, he was young then, about 21 or 22. He was very, very young, but he didn't mind. He was not ashamed of the gospel because he knew that that was the power of God in his life. And one of these days, he was riding past, and people were crying in my house. Oh, and all on 
Brought his, brought his uh, small little Bible out and came in, just uh, uh, waded through the crowd. And he came and I said, Pastor, please, today is not like any other day. Somebody just died. <laughs> and the people say, Ah, I have been riding my bicycle all through. Till this time it was about four o'clock. And I want to raise somebody. I say, he please, I beg you. Don't don't make a mockery of your God. He said, No, 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 no. I want to wake him up because God has told me in the book. Then he opened the book and read it that uh, uh, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpent, to tread upon scorpions and to raise the dead and i said listen don't make a mockery of yourself the kingdom of heaven is at hand heal that sick raise the dead i said what Benson, you mean what you say that we can raise dead person? Yes, absolutely. Have you raised dead person before? Uh, no. Why? But you say I can do it. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hey. He said, no, 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 come and show me where the baby was. So I said, okay. I took him to the room where the baby was lying. It, it was she. She was about uh, three years old, three or four, four years old then. And I said, "Listen, this baby died at about nine, and it's about four o'clock now. The baby is already changing color. The fa why why he why she was not being buried at this time is that the father has to go to the secretariat to get a death certificate." And he said, oh, there's no need for that now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I said, how? How are you going to do it? And he said, okay, go out if you don't want to see, see me do it. But, uh, you know, as a stubborn child, then I stood at the, I stood at the door. I stood at the door with my back laid at the door. One, one eye on this side and one eye on the front door. And he prayed. Child. Be healed. I will bring to you an offering. After he prayed, he asked me, What is the name of the child? What is the girl's name? I said, It's Inwarata. I'm a living testimony. I give God the glory for keep counting me among the living today. I'm a testimony that the whole world know about through my father, late Ben Sinidahosa. I was sick about two weeks. After the sick, conversion hold me. So I, I, I died. When I died, they kept me inside one room. So my people was crying, weeping. About two hours, a bit three hours later, my father come, my late Ben in the house. He said, what is happening? They told him that her daughter, their daughter has lost. They said, what happened to her? He said, she was confused. So they tried the, in the ordinary native daughter tried, they can't raise her back to life. He said, where is her now? He said, she's swallowing there. He said, he asked my father the question. He said, daddy, do you believe that the God I serve 
can raise him come back to life? My father had said yes. So he said they should take him to the room. Then take him to where they, they lie me down. So carry me, they were praying with some of members. As they pray with God that answered by fire, hear their prayer. I come back to life. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That is how I'm a living so today. And he just stretched his Bible and himself on that child and said, Inuata, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that has empowered me to raise the dead. Now, come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Inuata, I command you, rise up! I was just peeping. And all of a sudden, the, the child that died at about 9 o'clock slays. Another <laughs> day to me, after a year and three months in the womb. So, my mother passed through many tribulations before she gave back to me. Then he said, maybe I'm not a baby, I'm a wood, I'm this, but for God be thy glory. When they gave back to me, I'm, I'm a human being. And after they gave back to me, the devil, the useless man, raised up his ugly head to take my soul away. Did you know I took to my heels? I couldn't stand, I couldn't wait, and I ran out. <laughs> With him to the mother. He said, Please give this child something to eat. And everybody was surprised. Everyone was shocked. Ah, and he just left. And when he left, I, I sat down and I was thinking, What is the thing that made this man to raise this child from the dead? There must be power superpower then i wasn't a child of god my mother used to serve um, she was a princess of olokun shango and all that and i said mm, the, the the power that raised this child from the dead must be a power that surpasses the power of these graven images that has no power so the father just came and we started celebrating, but he was gone. But in the night I sat and I, I started praying and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, just touch me. I have been hearing messages of salvation from here and there. Even the church I, 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 I used to go then, but I just knelt down and I said, Father, let Jesus come into my heart right now. And I need to know this power that raised this child. And that was all I prayed. I didn't know how to pray salvation prayer, but I just knelt and I said, Father, please, if you were the one that raised this child up, let come into my life and let me act and walk and believe like us. That young man that we call pastor believed, and he did this. And you know, when I finished prayers, there was an abundant joy, unspeakable joy in my spirit. And the following day, uh, we, we used to call him Brother Benson. He came and said, where is the child? He said, the child is there. And I called him to the room and I said, you know what I did last night? I did know. Uh, I, I don't know how to do it, but I just knelt by my bedside and I said, God, if you were the one that raised that child up, let me have a part of that power. He said, ah, 
you have done it. And I knelt down, we prayed, and I and I said the the sinner's prayer, and that was what got me into where I am now. And I'm glad. Okay, because I'm still alive, my father Benson Dalsa is still alive because I'm a living testimony. I'm glad that I I, I I'm doing what I'm doing now because there was sign, there was wonder, there was, there, there was miracle that got into my heart. Thank God for today and my life. I have about eight children, two girls, and two boys and six girls. He was a man that did everything by faith. I have about ten grandchildren to the glory of God. Now I understand the, the type of joy. The Bible said that the joy that no man can give, that is the joy that Jesus gives when you give your life to him. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, 
America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preacher's pictures, click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you for taking the time to watch this powerful video of Archbishop Benson Indaosa. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was a charismatic Pentecostal preacher. He is the founder of Church of God Mission International. Archbishop Benson Indaosa was popularly referred to as the father of Pentecostalism in Nigeria. And I'd like you to know that he was also my spiritual father please do not forget to share this video to bless all the people let this video go viral remain blessed hello this video is about Archbishop Bensi Idaosa his early Christian ministry testimony as a young Christian, I once heard my pastor say during a morning service that Christians could raise the dead in the name of the Lord Jesus. I believe it with my, all my heart. And flying around on my bicycle in those days, I went through the city of Benin in Nigeria in search of a dead person to raise to life. After five hours of hard session, I found a company where a little girl had died a few hours before. The corpse had been cleaned and prepared for burial. I walked boldly to the father of the child. The God whom I serve can bring your baby back to life. I told him, will you permit me to pray for the child and bring her back to life? The man was startled, but he agreed. I walked into the room and up to the bed. The child was cold and dead. With strong faith in the Lord, I called on the Lord to restore the child back to life. I turned to the corpse and called it by name. Arise in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. The corpse sneezed heavily. Alas, the child had come back to life. God is Bensi Indaosa. Now, Bensi Indaosa childhood. Bensi Indaosa was born in Benin City on September 11, 1938. To a pagan parents. He was a sickly infant who was always fainting. As a result of his constant illness, his father ordered the mother to throw him in the dustbin. When he was 18, year, 18 months old, he was left on a rubbish heap to die. He was rejected by his father, sent to work on a farm as a servant, and was denied education until he was 14 years old. His education was irregular due to the poor financial status of his parents. He later took correspondence course from Britain and United States while working in Bather Shoe Company. His conversion and call to ministry. His conversion was drastic and his calling supernatural. He was converted by Pastor Akos on a football field on one Sunday afternoon while playing soccer with his teammates. Thus, young Benson, young Benson became the first Benin member of Pastor Akbar's small congregation. As a young convert, he became very zealous in winning souls and in conducting outreaches in villages around Benin City. He was called to the ministry in a ninth vision from the Lord. I have called you that you might take the gospel around the world in my name, preach the gospel, and I will confirm my words with signs following said the voice from heaven. The room was filled with the presence of God as Benson fell to his knees before the Lord. 
wherever you want me to go, I will go. He pray through the night, renewing his vows to God and interceding for his people who were yet to hear the message of salvation. After his call, Benson launched into ministry, work preaching from village to village. The gospel of, the, of, of Jesus Christ with great power and anointing. More people confess Christ as their Savior and more healings occur as he prayed for the sick. Expansion of his ministry and his credentials. Archbishop Benson Daosa, the Archbishop himself and the founder of Church of God Mission International Incorporated with his headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria established over 6,000 churches throughout Nigeria, Ghana before 90, 1971. Many of the ministers he supervised pastor churches of 1,000 to 4,000 people. In addition to filling the position of Archbishop of Church of God Mission, he, also, he, he was also president of All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, president of Idaosa World Outreach, and president of Faith Medical Center. He had positions in numerous organizations, including the College of, Bish of Bishop of the International Communion of Christian Churches and the Ora Robert uh, University in Oklahoma. He also earned a diploma in divinity from Christ for the Nation Institute in Dallas, Texas, which he attended in 1971 a doctorate of divinity in 1981 from the world faith college new orleans and a doctor of law degree from ora robert university in march 1984 he also received another degree he's also received other degrees from the international university in Brussels, belgium archbishop benson and his wife margaret idaosa were blessed with four children Idaosa Supreme Tax. So winning was Idaosa primary consign with a motto evangelism our supreme tax. He worked towards his goal of reaching the origin Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As a black African, he found the doors of African countries were wide open and he ministered in over 133 countries all 123 countries all over the world crusade played a major role in his ministry he was involved at least one crusade per month a record crowd of nearly 1 million people a night attended his lagos crusade in april 1985 he established the redemption television ministry with a potential viewing audience of 15 million people what leading gospel minister said about our bishop idaosa according to mrs gordon frada lisa president of christ for the nation incorporated dallas texas usa i know of no young black in all africa who is preaching who is reaching million as benson is in crusade with hundreds of thousands in attendance in in, a, in his weekly nationwide telecast in his Bible school, training eager students from several nations. He also conducted campaigns in Sweden, Singapore, Malaysia, Korea, Australia, and United States, where he often appeared on national religious telecast. His burden for souls, his ministry of healing and miracles, even to the raising of several dead, demonstrate he is especially called of the Lord in this end time. Dr. Ben Akosa remarked, Benson Daosa is sought after by everyone in the state, from government officials to beggars. When they pose questions and explain their problem to this man, they receive instantaneous miracle solution, just as the people did in Bible days with God's prophet. The people got miraculous answer from his, from this mighty leader of God's people, said Daniel Oris. Benin City respect and salute this great man of God even at his death. I have been with him on visit to many officials, 
to the governor, to the powerful Benin tribal kings. He moved with God and his people knows it. His great miracle cathedral, his headquarters sits over 10,000 in 1981. His Bible school attracts upper class people from different African nations and also come from Maurice, India, uh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Singapore, Philippines, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, the Middle East, Europe and other nations of the world. A truly international Bible training center of dynamic faith. People know that Bishop Idaosa preached what he practiced. Dr. Idaosa evangelistic ministry has reached nations around the world. He was the first Af black African evangelist to shake Australia in a massive crusade that got national attention. His seminar have affected Christians and church leaders in many countries. I sincerely salute this man because he practiced among his own people what he preached to the world. Bensi Indaosa was a man who believed God's promises and that God's miracle provision applies to Africans as well as to Americans. He believed that Africa has a part in God's work and Africa will reap God's blessing. Evangelist T. S. Bond from Tulsa, Oklahoma remarked, Many who followed Idaosa's teaching have been saved from poverty and have learned to plant out of their have learned how to plant out of their desperate need and to look to God as their divine source, thereby becoming prosperous Christians in their own land. Idaosa rose from the rank of an ordinary man to a world leader's leadership as a pastor, a builder, a counselor, a prophet, a teacher, uh, an apostle, an evangelist, a man of godly wisdom and of Christ-like compassion whose ministry has blessed million, millions the world over. Idaosa was the greatest African ambassador of the apostolic Christian faith to the world. The secret of his success. Idaosa operated in faith. He had a robust faith. He believed and trusted God with a childlike faith. He once said that living a daily life of absolute faith in God is the only secret to great success. He believed God for everything. All things are possible to him that believes. He spent quality times in prayer and in the study of God's word. He said that if someone spent time studying the Bible and acting on it, people will come looking for that person for life solutions. He also, also spent time studying the works and the lives of other successful people both in the gospel ministry and other faith of human endeavors and he applied the principles he learned he learned from these successful people to his life and ministry he was very energetic hard-working one of the ministers who served under him said that he had never seen a man who worked as hard as Archbishop Benson Dawsa. he was committed and consistent and he had confidence in himself he was very humble and full of godly wisdom have bishop bensi idaosa was said to be the leader of over seven million jesus people worldwide before he went to be with the lord in february 1998 now i'm going to talk about his early ministry again as a youth, he got converted to Christianity by a certain pastor at Paul and joined the flagging congregation as one of the first members. He was very active and converted many to Christianity. After experiencing a revelation from God, calling him into ministry, he began to conduct outreaches from village to village before establishing his church in a store in Benin City. Archbishop Bensi Idaosa was well known for many notable quotable quotes, including "My God is not a poor God." Your attitude determines your your attitude determines your attitude. 
it is more risky not to take risk. I am a possibilitarian. A big head without a big brain is a big load to the neck. If your faith says yes, God cannot say no. Among others, many of these messages on faith, miracle, and prosperity remain a classic among Pentecostal. He had strong links with international gospel ministers like Billy Graham, T.L.S. Bond, Kenneth Hagin, Penny Inn, Graham Bonke, Maurice Cerullo, Ora Robert, amongst others, and took the gospel to 145 nations in his lifetime. At the time of his death in 1998, he had preached to more white than any black man and to more black than any white man. His desire to meet the need of the total man led him to establish several other arms of the ministry apart from the church. They include Faith, Metaplex, All Nation for Christ Bible Institute, World of Faith, Group of School. Bensi Indaosa University, which is currently under leadership of a son, Reverend E. F. B. Uh, Idaosa, his wife, Margaret uh, Idaosa, is the current Archbishop of the Church. It was used by God to perform many miracles, including healing the blinds, raising up 28 people from the dead at different times in his ministry. You must understand this powerful man of God that God used to affect the nation of the world. And I'm glad and privileged that he was my father in the Lord. I am honored to be a part of his anointing, a part of his, of his ministry. I want to ask you, please make sure you share these videos, this video, this particular video, to bless all the people, and make sure you have enough time to visit Anointed Tube, support Anointed Tube, and let people all over the world around you, your village, your town, your city, your colleagues, your family, your friends, all your contacts, get to know about Anointed Tube. So thank you for taking the time to listen to this or, or watch this video. I believe that um, your life can never remain the same because God's servant was such a powerful, powerful, humble, great man of God that God used before he was called to be with him. I, and I'll say it again, I am grateful and I'm privileged to be a son to Archbishop Bensi in the house. The Lord bless you.